Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we will be ranking the Ninjago seasons, but we are only going to be doing the first seven seasons because let's be honest here, those are like the best ones, right? Like the others, they're just... The, the rebooted ones they aren't as good. They, they just aren't as good to me anyway. So first off we have Ninjago in the Hands of Time. Now this was the last series that they made before they did like the updated ones and it's pretty good but some parts of this kind of slow when I like when I'm rewatching the series I kind of just skip this one sometimes it just doesn't capture my interest that much my brother this is one of my brother's favorites though so points for that I guess and looking back at it it's a little bit better than I remember next up is season two the original season two this is a very good series. I really enjoyed it. And I guess if it wasn't for like the other ones being so good, this would be higher. Like this is already as awesome as it is, but they do still somehow manage to top this. That's really why this one's so high up here. And there's nothing I can really say that's bad about this, except for maybe there were one or two episodes that went a little slower than usual. But besides that, it was completely great. And now season one, the original. This is such an amazing series. And it was the first one that like really went like through episodes. I mean, there were the pilots, but this was like the first main series. And the snakes were super cool. Pythor was a great villain. And this was the season that brought us that awesome Weekend Whip theme song, which is just the best theme song I've ever heard. And now, Skybound, the season that didn't happen, except in Jay's mind, because he's the only one that remembers it. Yeah, this is an amazing series. I really liked uh, the pirate-ish theme and, like, the weird twist on the genie or the djinn. And, like, you making the wishes... You you making the wishes can be like a bad thing if you're not specific enough. I mean, it, like, really takes a turn on that whole genie aspect. And then, in the end, the whole season kind of just didn't happen, oddly. Because, um, you know, they wished that the whole season pretty much didn't happen. But it's kind of a bummer because the season was awesome. And then, season five, the ghost one. I don't even really like ghost, ghost, um, themed stuff. But this was so much fun to watch. And like how Cole P game, Cole became a ghost. And I don't know if this is like a commonly known thing already, but this is the first time I ever heard of ghosts not liking water. I really liked how that was um the ghost sweetness. And this series or this season had one of my favorite versions of the Weekend Whip remix that there is. Like, we can all just agree this is the best, right? And Moro was just one of the most perfect villains of Ninjago. But the realm, the entity, whatever, I forgot what it was called. The giant monster ghost thing at the end. Oh my gosh, that was so creepy though. That was disgusting. And then we have season three, Ninjago Rebooted. I mean, this is probably not everyone's favorite, but it was so much fun watching this one. I remember when I first watched it when I was littler, and I enjoyed it so much, because, like, Zayn was one of my favorite characters, and, like, I really liked robot stuff at the time, so the whole robot theme was super cool. The Overlord returning was super cool as, um, in, like, a tech form. That was also really enjoyable to watch. And when Zane sacrificed himself at the end, that was just great. Except he comes back again because Ninjago doesn't have enough main characters to where they can just have people die off. And speaking of Zane's return, the next season, the Tournament of Elements, is my number one favorite. And interesting fact, this is one of the last seasons I saw because I accidentally skipped this season. Because I think what the platform that I used to watch Disney Plus, like, my mom stopped paying for it. So we couldn't watch this season. And it was kind of a bummer. But then I got back to it. And it was so cool with all the different elements. Some of the elements felt a bit stretched, though. But it was super cool. This 
uh, season was really fun to watch with the whole bad guys being snake themed. And Master Chen was like so fun as a villain. He was he was a great villain. Like he was just goofy and funny, but he was also like really evil. I really liked that type of villain. And Zayn returning was super cool. And Pythor ended up helping people. That was a little weird, but it was also fun to watch at the same time. And with Garmadon's character arc was such a cool character arc for this season. I really enjoyed this season. It almost is kind of weird. It almost ties in with Ninjago Rebooted, but in the end, I feel like this one comes up on top. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and please share your opinions in the comments, and I will try to respond to them. Anyway, um, once again, thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, and see you later. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, please write in the comment section what you want my next tier list or ranking to be, because I want to try making some more of those. Or you can go to my channel and go to the community section and write your opinion on the opinion polls, because I'm going to try to make one of those as well. Also, I want to give a shout out to the Shekingers. You can find the spelling in the community section on my YouTube channel. Bye.